In this installment, we're going to introduce the electrostatic force, or what is also known as the Coulomb force, given by Coulomb's law. We have it stated here as Fe, the force electrostatic, is equal to the Coulomb constant times the charge of the larger object, the charge of the smaller object. And so these are the charges. And just like with Newton's law of gravitation, we have an equation that looks exactly like that, except that whereas gravity is due to the mass and distance, the electrostatic force is due to the charge and the distance. And there is a universal gravitational constant and there is a Coulomb constant, electrostatic constant. Now that Coulomb constant, K, is known to quite a number of significant digits, times 10 to the 9th kilogram meters cubed per second squared per Coulomb squared. We may recall that the units of G were Newton meters squared per kilogram squared. And over here, if we write this out, we have kilogram meter cubed per second squared per Coulomb squared. So this Coulomb squared and kilogram squared match up. And if we take this meter squared out, and write this as meter squared times meters, we see the meter squared is there. And kilogram meter per second squared is the unit of Newtons. <laughs> so to 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 significant digits, if we wanted to take it to a similar number like we know for gravity down to 6, we would round it um, and down to 5, down to 4. It starts looking different when we get to 3 significant digits, and you might also see it as this number with two significant digits, 9.0 times 10 to the ninth. It's not, it, it may not be as apparent that with this many significant digits, just how close that is to an even nine. Now, it turns out also that K itself um, can be broken down into another formula, which is um, one over four pi epsilon naught. And epsilon naught is something called the vacuum permittivity. It's the ability of an electric field to permeate a vacuum. And it has a number given as this, the vacuum permittivity. And so if we plug this into this, we get this new number K, and that new number K is 8.98755 times 10 to the ninth. But that is, that is uh, Coulomb's law. That's the equation. That's the Coulomb constant. In our next installment, we're going to do some sample calculations.